Hello everyone, welcome to JS Cakes and my name is Deepak. Here in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about routing and I'll first of all tell you what is the important importance of routing in a single page application and post that we will talk about how routing is essentially done in Angular framework. So let me take you first to the Chrome browser. So before I explain what routing is all about, let me just open another tab and what I'm going to do is like I'll just open the inspect element first and then I'm going to be opening web.dev. But before I open, let me open the network tab and remove everything over here and press enter. You may notice that, uh, you know, a lot of these data comes in uh, as and when the application is loaded. Let me try to remove all of this. And what I'm going to do is like, I'll just quickly click on, let's say JavaScript. The moment I click on JavaScript, you may notice that all of these applications, all of these, all of these, uh, uh, you know, assets from the, from, from the internet also arrived on my browser. You just try to click that again and close this and learn javascript so i've clicked learn javascript now you see that nothing has happened it is essentially a log format a log api which 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 gets called so this is not really significant but then if i move here and there now if i clicked on other parts so it's basically loaded the mdn but then let's say if i click on css this time so you may notice that some more uh, uh some more assets from some more assets in javascript file arrived from the internet and resided here in the browser so let's say let me let me click on learn css again it moved to a different and a lot of these things came over uh you know all that while we have been talking about the spa which is single page application uh, well, what does what does it mean to be a single page application so a single page application means that your skeleton or your application resides in the browser and when you make a api when you make a request for the first time uh, on the on the browser and after that it plays with it right and it basically refreshes or removes or puts back the basic content from the center panel and the application doesn't really really require to be loaded once again so let's say if i were to click here and, and let me remove this give it a refresh let me stop this um what i'm going to do is like i'll just uh, put a record here instead okay so let me click on record and now you see how oh, html css javascript let me go back to about and i'm going to be stopping this right so what really happens in background okay so you may see that it did not really fire on load ever again right do you do you notice that or let me expand this a little bit more so here if you look closely it did not really fire so what, I, what did i do i clicked on different various part of the application and different various uh, uh, you know links but then i did not really do that right so let me remove this and give it a refresh now once i refresh the application arrives and stays here and it is going to stop in a second or so and then i'll show you see in the normal scenario you would find all of these dcl lfp fcp and lcp getting fired right but then while we were moving away from one tab to the other it did not really fire any of those it stays there what does it essentially mean so it essentially means that whenever you are working with a single page application and you click on any one of these uh, links it did not really change the skeleton per se and as a result it does not really reload the application what it essentially does is that it just brings back the component or the material which is required to be displayed on your browser and then display that in the center part of the image like in this case right so let's say if i clicked on blog it reached it the, the url remains same only thing is the context like forward slash blog it changed and it, it redirected it to you blog but then even if you try to record it you will notice that it does not really change anything like it it does not really fire a dcl llcp or uh, you know it does not really fire any other event in the background it stays there right let's just look at this again i clicked on the about section after the uh, after from the blog vlog uh, after from the blog and then you may notice that there is no other event being fired from your browser so what does it mean it means that only the center part of the application is getting changed and the skeleton is not really moving anything like if you look at the web dev and the topmost part of the top bar of the page it is not really getting changed and only the center part of it is moving right this is the scenario with all the spa across the frameworks like if you look at uh, react if you look at let's say vue.js or if you look at 
angular or angular js for that matter you would find that the, that the pattern remains same in case of a routing in case of a movement from one tab to other it only changes the center bar and how is it really done in a single page application so answer to that question is comes from the routing so what happens is that routing essentially is responsible to display center part or 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 the moving part in your web page however page does not reload whenever you do from navigation from one to other for an example here in this case you may see that you have home and user and let's say if i were to click on user it 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 shows the user related content and when you click on home it shows the home related content and that's what we are going to be implementing now right so what i'm going to do is like i'll just take you to I'll, I'll just walk you through this thing and then we'll try to implement the same in our angular application so how it's done so the first thing first if you notice here right uh, in order to have this like we need to create an app route ts file and once you create an app route ts file add routing to the provider right meaning we need to provide the provide router and provide the routes in it and once you provide the route and router and then you will need to look at the router outlet and above it you will have to define the nav right so these are the three steps we will have to do so in order to do this i'll take you back to the code and from here what i'm going to do is like see we already have a router outlet available up here so what i'm going to do is like i'll just uh remove everything or comment out everything over here so i have defined two routes over here and what i'm going to do next is like i'm going to be defining these two routes in the app routes so let's just define these two routes by creating two different objects over here it's going to be path and then the component right please note we have not really com created these two components and we are just going to be creating two dummy routes at this moment and we'll right after this we'll start to create two components essentially right so let me write it down this way the first is home the other one is going to be about And let me start creating two different component a CLI let me import these two components here i think that's pretty much done so we have created two different routes here we've also marked these routes in the route file and uh, app config also has the route provided already configured with it because that comes when you create an application afresh it comes basically out of the out of the box from the cli itself and next thing what i'm going to do is like i'll also remove this ng optimized image right so because i don't think so uh, i need this anymore because i've commented out this particular code from the component right so if i look at uh, let me clean this a little bit here and if you look at the app component now essentially what we have is just two anchor tag and a router outlet tag so how does it work let me just take you back to the chrome and here are the chrome i'm going to do is like i'll just give it a refresh here first and remove this and let's see how it works home works about works but if you also notice that every time i click on these these are getting loaded right so all of all of these files are coming back right so let me click on the performance tab give it a go here and then click on these two uh these two tabs once once again stop it and there you go here you may notice that all these events are essentially getting triggered every time you click on either home or about so why is that so we have not really uh but then in the single page application these are not really required to be loaded on, over and over again it so it was not supposed to be firing dcl and l and lcp and fcp calculating all of this stuff so why is it really happening so let like, to understand this i'll take you back to the code and here are the code you may notice that we have defined href so href is essentially tells your browser to reload the page when you when you click on this anchor tag and load the home route so router essentially is working right it's just that we one change what we have to do is to change the href to router link and when you change it to router link we also need to ensure that in our component we have 
router link imported and router link is part of the angular router just to save this now you see there is no console error per se and again i'll take you back to the chrome browser and if i click on these you may see that it are these things are changing but let's just see that the events are being fired or not right so let me click on all of these and now stop it and there you go now you can see that it does not really reload the page and how did i determine if it did not reload the page is through uh, all those events which were getting fired which is essentially dcl and l which stands for dom content loaded and load now you see that even if i click on any one of these icons these are not loading now let me take you to the network tab and let's see if that works there you go now you can see it only brings some of the response required for your about component to work and similarly if i cross this and click on home it only brings back the result which is required for your home component to work it does not really reload the page entirely so how does it happen it happened through router link and router outlet so let me again take you back to the code so i think uh, i'll quickly summarize by giving you a gist of it so now you can see that we have essentially created two components home and about and we've changed a few things in the app component first of which was to include router link the other one was basically um you know define the app component html the nav and router outlet was already available there we also made changes in the app routes by defining those two routes by giving path and component and also the app routes is essentially configured here in your app config and provided through the provider router function in the dependency right so now we have configured the component properly we have configured the routes properly let me close down everything there's another important bit that i wish to cover right so what is that you may notice that uh, we have essentially covered how routing essentially works in angular framework but there is another topic that i really wish to cover which is lazy loading and how what do you mean by lazy loading so lazy loading essentially means that whenever you have defined any of your component to be lazily loaded the bundle size reduces and the, that particular uh, javascript css and all the other things required for that component to work which is required to be lazy loaded does not really come eagerly on your page so what really happens is that the moment you click on those router links the, the moment you click on those router link in our case home and about and that's when the request to bring those assets would be made and that's how the assets would come over so let's just look at this example in our routing and then we will move forward so let's just click here on the code and open the app component here in the router link you may see that home and about and if i come here at the app config or rather the app routes so what i'm going to do is like you know if you want to load the component lazily you cannot really define them the way it is defined over here so let's say if the if i wish to load the about component lazily i'll say load children or rather load component import about then and that's pretty much it similarly if i wish to lazily load the home component and a similar thing will happen here as well so in that case i'm going to be changing this to load shell load component now let me take you to the chrome browser and see if that works in action or not. let's close this on already on home there you go now you see that other than the style sheet the chunk also arrived right and uh, what would happen if i click on home and because home was already loaded initially when we loaded the page and that's why it is not really making a call again so let's say if i click on about this time also it will only click on or it will try to bring the css style sheet let's close this move the about from here and now you may be able to see that in action so let's say if i click on home you see the javascript and css arriving similarly if i click on about you see javascript and css arriving and if i click back on home again you will only see the supporting file arriving and not really the entire component being loaded and let's just look at the performance tab as well we clean this record this or um you know i'll click on about home home about once again stop this and there you go you don't really see any one of those events which is dcll being fired when i click on these two different components to show its content so that's all for 
Rowding, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening and all that while. And I'm going to be seeing in the next tutorial where I'll cover the form and reactive form part of Angular, which is very very interesting. Again, so if you have not really subscribed to my channel and are liking my work, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon in case if I post a new video, you would be notified. So thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be seeing you in the next one.